Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? So, today we're going to talk about sumac. So, let me bring you in for a closer look. So, this is what is known as winged sumac. So, I don't know if you can see. I'll, I'll break one of these little branches off and bring it up here close to you. So, you can see there. See those little ribs on there those wings as they call them how cool is that so that's what makes that a winged sumac so these berries from what i've seen are best to harvest around late july early august which today is 31st of july when they get nice and crimson red like this uh because what you want like well for the one process making like a lemonade what you want, and uh, I don't know if you can see. Here, let me bring you in real close. I don't know if you can tell how shiny those are. Not as shiny as my sweaty arm, but how shiny those are. All right, so, sorry. What you can do before you go picking them all off the tree is you just take, rub your fingers over them like this, and then you just taste it. Mmm. So if you get that nice, tart, sour flavor, that's what you want. Oh yeah, woo, woo, that one's real sour. So then what we'll do is we'll take these berries and we're gonna soak them in cold water. Gotta be cold, not warm, not hot. Cold water uh, for about an hour or two. And then we'll strain it out, put some honey in there, maybe some cane sugar, and we'll have some sumac aid or lemonade. There's a lot of great properties and qualities in here. I will um, throw those in when I edit the video. And then I guess uh, from what I have read and seen is if you dry these berries and then um, grind them up, either using a tumbler or like a coffee grinder or something, that you can get that powder and use it as a seasoning and it has all the same qualities as turmeric or turmeric however you want to pronounce it. Um, so I think that's pretty darn interesting. Uh, I heard it's really good on roasted chicken. Oh man, I can't help it. So good. Put that on my leg. Mm, so good. All right, so, man, that's good. Come on, just lick them. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and, mm, that's good, gather a bunch of these and we're gonna go up there and we're gonna make a delicious beverage. Let's go. Got my berries all ready to go. Got my water all cold. Still a little bit of ice in here. Just wanted to make sure it was cold. So, just going to take these guys and right in the water there. All these little sections. I did cut them off the main branch just because, I mean, I guess you could probably pick all these little individual branches off if you wanted to or cut them. But I really don't think that that much of the is going to really matter. I don't know. We're learning together here. So we'll find out. How about that? Anywho. So I'm going to pick some. And then you'll see there is still some green underneath on some of these. That's all right from what I've heard. Because I did taste test these bad boys. And I have way too many here. But that's fine because I'm going to um, dry some, like I said, anyways. And hopefully figure out and that's a big old stem how to make um the seasoning out of them so we'll have to f i'll have to follow up with you guys on that one so you'll know so anywho let's keep going put a bunch of these in here i really don't know how many to use uh from what i saw it was like one third ratio but i mean how do you really determine that i guess i could weigh it all but you know what what's the worst that happens it's just really sour i like my lemonade that way anyways just keep keep on keeping on and get the the redder ones try to leave out some of these green ones since I do have an extra abundance there we go oh yeah there we go they're all buried down there oh yeah push them into the wall oh. all right so 
once you get them all in here, then we can, um, I don't know, either take this guy, kind of smash them. I mean, I'm sure you could even use your hands and just kind of help them out, do their things, kind of give them a little squishy squish, maybe help get that, um, whatever that is off the edge, the outside, the little film that the sumac film uh, forms around these berries. So we're gonna get these in here, let them sit for a couple of hours, and then uh, come back and we'll do a little taste test and I'll let you know what I think. All right. All right, two hours in now. And if you happen to notice that the water level is a little lower than it was, I'm sorry. It's because a buddy of mine stopped by and we had to try some. Put some honey in it. Oh my goodness, it was fantastic. I can't wait to try it with some cane sugar next. So, that's why there's some stuff already on my little cheesecloth here. So take the cheesecloth and then I'm just dipping this guy in here. And just pouring it through. So there it is. I'm, I'm going to get that out of there. Actually, I think I have some right there still. All right. So if you made it this far into the video, I appreciate it. Uh, it's actually been a couple of weeks since I started this video process. And now I'm finishing this video process. Oddly enough, I'm in the same shirt that I was when I started. So, hey, how about that? I could have just left that out. and You never know. But um, anywho... So I can give you some follow-up on what I found out so far. So I know in the video I was saying um, one to two hours it's soaking. Actually, wait, first, see, nice yellow color. You'll get that when it's done. Um, also, I start soaking it overnight now, and I found that I really, really enjoy the flavor much, much more like that. And uh, I don't use sugar or honey, as a matter of fact, anymore. I drink it just like it is, and I think, to me, that is the most delicious. So... If you do it and you um, let me know what you think. Later.